Here I have 7 generations of iPhones running the uh, latest iOS version and also I have the Geekbench running to see how fast they are. Let's start with the 3GS. Okay, the benchmark is now running. The devices that can run iOS 9.0.2 are running the Geekbench version 3.4.0 which has just been released yesterday uh, to support the uh, newest iOS as well as the newest devices. So I actually have run these benchmarks before but uh, this time I'm running this again just to see that they are in a comparable situation. Uh, while I was talking uh, uh, the newer devices have already finished the benchmark, so now we are running, uh, here we go, iPhone 5 just finished. So we are now down to the uh, the older three devices here, the 3GS, 4, and 4S. Uh, I believe the uh, 4S should probably finish in about a minute, and I think the slowest the 3GS would probably take about 7 minutes to finish, so we still have about 6 minutes to go. Okay. <clears throat> now for your reference, the uh, 6S Plus that I have is running the uh, processor from TSMC. I can tell that because it's running the processor called N66MAP. If it was N66AP, it would be from Samsung. Okay, it looks like 4S is getting almost done. And we're done with this one. Now it is probably you probably noticed that, but the um, the performance difference between the four and the six S plus is more than tenfold. So basically, in four years' time. Uh, Apple has managed to uh, put a processor inside the, um, the iPhone, which is this considerably faster. It's also a very curious thing to uh, note that uh, even though there's a big performance difference, all of these devices can run the latest iOS. Of course, for the 4S in, uh, in concern, <clears throat> that means uh, it's probably not very suited to running the latest iOS so it doesn't perform as good as the uh, the OS that it originally came with okay let's see how far these older devices have come Mm, it looks like the uh, iPhone 4 probably will finish about in a minute. And let's see, the uh, 3GS probably has a, long, a lot more ways to go. We're done here. <clears throat> now, as you probably might notice, that the uh, the only difference between the uh, four and four S is that it became uh, dual core. 
the uh, single core performance is pretty much uh, the same. It's just that it has another core. So if the application was able to uh, <coughs> take advantage of the uh, both of the cores, then the performance would be improved. And uh, we have a very big performance jump between the 4S and 5. It's something that has not been repeated since. As you can see, we still have the uh, double the performance here. But over here, the screen size jumped. So the uh, performance does, did not increase as much. It's also interesting to note that uh, even if you compare these two uh, two generations apart, the performance is still not twice uh, twice the jump, which makes the uh, the the three uh, the performance gap here has never been repeated ever since. Okay, while I was talking, I think we now just have one minute to go for 3GS. Yes, it seems to be quite boring. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, looks like uh, we have the results. Okay. So I'm finished with the benchmark. Here are the uh, final results of all the devices. Thank you for watching.